today we're covering the best OBS Studio recording settings for 2025. Let's dive into it. First, let's jump into the video tab. This is where you can set the foundations for your recordings quality. I recommend sticking with 1920 by 1080p. This is standard for most recordings and ensures you're capturing everything in full HD. For the output scaled resolution, it's best to match it to your canvas resolution, so keep it at 1920 by 1080. Unless you need to downscale for smaller file sizes or better performance. But in most cases, leaving it at 1080p is the way to go. If you do decide to downscale, I recommend using Lansos for the downscale filter. It's the best choice for maintaining crisp, high quality visuals when you reduce the resolution. Finally, under the common FPS value, set this to 60 FPS for that buttery smooth recording, especially if you're capturing fast paced gameplay. This will make your video look sharp and clean with minimum motion blur. Before moving on, don't forget to click apply to save these settings. Now, let's dive into output settings, where we can fine tune for the highest quality recording. First, let's change the output mode to advanced. This unlocks more controls over your settings. Then, head to the recording tab. Under recording path, choose a folder with plenty of space, as high quality footage can take up a lot of room. For the recording format, I recommend using MKV because it's more reliable than MP4. For an example, if your OBS crashes mid-recording, MKV files are less likely to corrupt. Plus, it's easy to convert MKV to MP4 later on. Next, let's talk about your encoder. If you have a newer NVIDIA or AMD graphics card, I would use NVENC or AMF. This offloads the encoding on your GPU, freeing up that CPU space. If you're on an older system or don't have a dedicated GPU, just stick with X264, which is going to use your CPU for encoding. Now for the rate control, I would set this to CQP, and for the CQ level, I would set it to around 15. For the keyframe interval, I would set this to 2 for optimal performance, then leave everything else as it is. Don't forget to click apply before moving on. Next, let's make sure your audio sounds top notch. Audio is just as important as video, so we want to make sure that it's perfect. Under sample rate, set this to 48 kilohertz, as this is the industry standard for high quality audio. For channels, choose stereo, as it's standard for modern recordings. For desktop audio, I recommend setting it to your headphones. This ensures that what you hear through your headphones is exactly what is being recorded. If you're using an external mic, this is where you select it. If you want a video on audio filters for your microphone, just let me know down in the comments and I'll be sure to get that out as soon as possible. Finally, don't forget to click apply before moving on. Now, let's dive into advanced settings. For the render, I would set this to Direct 3D 11 for stable and high quality recording. Now, set the color format to MV12 and the color space to 709 and the color range to full. These settings will ensure a vibrant color and the best image quality possible. Click apply and your OBS is all set for recording. If you find this video helpful, be sure to drop a like and subscribe down below. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day. Peace out.